Hi folks, it's Gail, Lifestyle Obedience, and I'm out here with uh, our new board and train, and I'm going to start introducing her to my good, uh, well, it's over the years have been called markers, right? So uh, my good marker. My good term means what you're doing is making me happy. Right now she is on top of the picnic table and it's not making me happy. I have not introduced my scold term to her yet. I like to introduce the good, the okay, and let her know her name is not a scold term. It is a uh, praise. It will eventually be the come command. By the time uh, uh, a dog has gotten to a point where the uh, owner has to call the dog trainer, the name often is a scold term. Fido this, Fido that! And uh, what I have to do is change that uh, understanding of that dog's name to be a very positive thing. So what I have here is I have several toys here and I'm going to just throw them out and I'm just going to start engaging with <laughs> this bad girl. And I start introducing, good girl, good. What you're doing is making me happy. She associates the good term with positive behavior. That a good girl, Bella. I slip in her name. Good girl, Bella, good girl. Yes, that a good girl. What a good girl. Yay for her! So these are all terms that I'm going to use to let her know that behavior is acceptable. Remember I tr uh, talk about training for the real world. It's not performance-based training, although we have some performing. It's relational-based. Just hanging out with your dog. It almost looks like the dog is naturally that way. When the dog has been given freedoms, when the dog has been given freedoms, we have Skylar over there in the run with Percy and Sayo Bear. When the dog has been given freedoms about the house, about the yard, what does it do with its freedoms? Is it making those right choices? Is it going over to the furniture and chewing on it? Is it going into the garden and digging? Um, these are the things that we're asking of the, is it going to the chickens and tormenting them? So good means what you're doing is making me happy. What a good girl. You're allowed to play with your toys. Good. We establish that relationship of, and that understanding of her, the term, understanding of her name. It's a positive thing. Good girl, Bella. Good girl. Get it. At a girl. Good girl. And then I will introduce my scold term. My scold term, as you've heard me say in the past, it takes the place of a dog's growl. The dog-dog interaction is more about, you're crossing my line of tolerance, stop doing that. The absence of negative consequences in that environment, in that relationship, the absence of negative consequences actually helps the dog understand what it's allowed to do. So I go to a different extreme. The good indicates that's acceptable. Good girl. At a good girl. Yay for Bella. What a good girl. What a good girl, Bella. So that's how I introduce the good command, helping the dog understand helping the dog understand what is acceptable. Walking around the house, sticking a nose in a garbage can isn't acceptable. When the dog picks up a chew toy or a toy and lays down, good, good choice. All right, more of a freestyle obedience. Um, the kind that I think most people really want with their dog. They just want their dog to behave. Over the years, my phone calls are, I want my dog to listen. I want my dog to walk nice on leash. And if it would come when it was is called, that'd be a, a bonus. 
all right so those have been the calls over the years and this is what I've done to develop that type of relationship you go to a picnic you go out to the beach you go for a, a hike you just want your dog to hang out making right choices all right let's just continue to watch Bella's progression <laughs> 